Hey y'all, y'all see the title. Let's get into it. y'all so this will be like a very quick video of my planner history since I can remember I've always been like a planner girl like even if you ask all my like, closest homegirls you know that I'm a planner there's like journal girls who could just jot down anything and there's like planners planner girls and out of that subcategory of being a planner person you know it could go off into so many different subcategories of do you like the horizontal layout do you like the vertical layout you know um are you a functional planner are you like the ones that like to you know have all the little cute little designs and and the stickers and you know the washi tape and you know <laughs> all of that stuff and i feel like i've i've always been trying to find my niche and I can definitely say that I'm a functional uh, planner girl. Um, so brief, quick little history. So in middle school, I, I used like the school planner that was given to us by our school. Same thing when it came to high school. Um, in college, we had, did they give us planners? Yeah, they gave us planners. College, I, I used a school planner as well. And here comes Gino. I'm back. So yeah, middle school, high school, and college, I used the school planners that they had because they were free, so that's for me. So anyways, I graduated college 2015, 2014, what the hell am I saying? 2014, but in 2015, that's when I really started like looking at different type of planners that they have out there, aside from the basic ones you can get at the store, like Office Depot and all that stuff. Um, I unfortunately don't have those other planners, like those older planners to show you. They're probably at my mom's house or something. But I do have like a good little chunk of uh, uh, planners to show. I should do like a quick little thumbnail while I'm here. Let's see if I can get this thumbnail right. This is so funny. <laughs> okay. So, the first planner... This, yeah, okay, so this is this was my first planner that like paid planner that I got. I customized it. This is an Aaron Condren. Oh god, it's about to fall. Aaron Condren planner. Um is a life planner on the go. Hang on. This was the horizontal uh weekly layout. And this was from let's see, 2015 to 2016. And you know. I forgot this this plan was probably like fifty to sixty dollars and um oh my god look oh my god oh my god this is what I went to the Beyonce concert look at that my ticket my ticket stuff so I mainly use this as a functional planner and um for when bills do quick little notes oh my goodness book flight to Jamaica oh my gosh yeah but um yeah so this was my Erin Condren planner just you know a nice good little basic plan. I was looking to see if there were any more like ticket stubs or anything like that in there and then in the back they had the notes and then I would um jot down little notes what, what did I have in this let's see I had school stuff I was you know about to start my master's program oh my god I have Brazilian Brazilian wax it's December lump sum oh my god yeah so I was using this for um you know this life planning so that was 2015 to 2016 that was an Erin Condren um planner so my next planner this is an inkwell press I don't even think you could see that let's see it says 2017 on there but it is an inkwell press Oh, bad lighting. Bad lighting. There we go. An Inkwell Press Planner. And I really like this planner. Um, it came with this... Uh, what is this thing called? Y'all see. It came with this thing to keep your planner together. Uh, I really liked this planner because it had like a really nice gold, uh, gold thing in the front. 2017, this will be your best year yet. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Do I gotta zoom y'all in just a little bit? Please don't fall. So 
so funny because I never filled it out, but here are some important dates. Oh my goodness. Hang on, let me look at this. Okay, so I had 2017 mission and um, oh my gosh. So my mission in 2017 was, my mission is to remain happy and positive no matter the circumstance. Life is only as hard as you make it. I should probably put, um, I should probably put one moment. All right, so here was my 2017 goal with the Inkwell Press. And then I covered up some personal stuff, but this this whole layout, let me move you guys this way so I'm not up against the wall. So this whole layout was basically six things, personal, social, financial, health, home, and dream big. And I'll read what my health goals was, which I, I kind of followed, but I didn't really follow, I wasn't consistent. But for health, I had workout four times a week, do yoga, walking, gym, eat meat at max two times per week, and meditate often. I did meditate often, but not as much as I was supposed to. I wanted to do it, I think at that time, like at least, was it once a day? I don't know if y'all hear Chino me out when he's trying to get out, but he's, he'll just get up in my film area too much. But anyways, I'm gonna do this quickly. Um, for the home, I purchased, I want to purchase a Roomba robot, which I got, clean two times per week, pack my lunch more often, more often than not, meal prep. And then, so th these are all the main goals, and then they have the quarterly breakdowns from three months, six months, nine months, and 12 months. Let's see. So I, re I really enjoyed, um, out of the Erin Condren and Inkwell, I like doing goals and stuff, so I felt like I really enjoyed doing this. Even though I didn't complete it, I didn't really follow through with it, but just the thought of getting things kind of going. And I love how they had all these little quotes in, in, the, um, in the beginning of each month. So yeah, this was basically like a functional thing. I just put all my due dates down, paydays. Ooh, let's see. And then, oh, this is another thing that I like. Okay, I can do this one. So for each month, they had like a mission. It was a mission board on there. So for January 2017 on the mission board, I had for health, no fast food, no soda, no candy. For my home, purchase my Roomba, which I did, and solidify an annual budget, which I kind of did, but then kind of fell off. And then it kind of breaks down. Let me cover. Let me cover this up. It's like personal stuff on there. Okay. So on the uh, on the other side of the mission board was this section right here, which is like plan. It says, I, well, this for this case, I had to say bring lunch to work, eat at home on the weekends. Um, my focus was health and finances, and know that you are amazing. And then it also had this like water, uh, like the daily habit tracker. I think this one I had for water. This one I had for workout, but I didn't follow through on it. So it was just like, I felt like Inkwell Press is great for goals, but it, was, it, was, it wasn't them, it was me. I did not follow through with um, doing this. Shoot, actually going, doing this video is kind of making me want to go back and, ooh, now I remember why. But doing this video made me want to kind of go back and probably get another Inkwell and try to actually like follow through. But, um... I think the reason why I did not really like this too much was because this layout was like a vertical layout like and I felt like I didn't have enough space because I like you know I like writing like this so at the time because In Inkwell Press was a pretty new company but at the time they only had vertical they may still have only vertical I might have to look on the website and double check but um yeah then it's the same basic layout hang on and then at the end of the month Oh goodness. At the end of the month I had, let me cover this up. <laughs> Sorry, this is like so impromptu, it wasn't planned. I mean, it was planned, but not really planned, planned. But at the end of the month I had like two blank pages for um, notes and ramblings. And the notes and ramblings um are kind of but like from what well, you can tell probably on this page better but they're not lines they're like bullet dots almost like a bullet journal but it's only a yeah those two pages like notes and ramblings there it is right there and then another page 
And then the months kind of start over, you know, kind of doing its thing, you know? So I did like, I really did like this goal because this was more like a goal oriented. I mean, and as the months kind of went on, I did get better. I did start writing more. I did try to adapt to, um, to the, not the horizontal, to the vertical layout, but I just, yeah. Oh my goodness. I was writing like crazy. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, at the end of this, uh, at the end of the planner, so I, I basically go through all the months, basically the same thing. So this is the end of the notes and ramblings for December, 2017. And then they have this like extras, this extras tab right here. And then in this extras tab, they have a gift list section. So if you want to like do gifts for your friends, and then here's the other side of it. A nice, good, long gift list section. Gift list. Gift list section. Oh, my God. And then it says ideas for me. This was a really well thought out uh, planner. And on this page, at the bottom of that, was kind of like a flight um, itinerary. I only did it one time when I went to Fort Lauderdale. Um, and then here, here's like a blank of how it looks. And then... I think they have like three three of those and then says this was like a little movie list of all the little movies that you want to see which I never did but it's like such a great idea and then good books it says good books to read so you could have a nice good movie list a nice good book list and then this oh my gosh I don't even, yeah I didn't do this either Okay, this right here was a monthly bill tracker. I only did it for January. Um, but, yeah, this is it right here. So, after that, then after that, after that is like a whole notes section, which this notes section is like filled with just rambling. But, um, it comes in... It comes in this type of so the remember like throughout the um beginning it came with like with like the bullet journal type but now it just comes like as a grid but this is how all the little note, notes pages turned out to look i really did like this little uh aw, this little planner and then of course then it had the next year and then it also had like a nice pocket in the back and then two pockets actually and oh my god and i forgot <laughs> And then I had like a little folio type of like hidden pocket as well on the back, which led to here. See? Wow. Yeah. Out of the Erin Condren and the Inkwell Press, I really like the Inkwell Press for me because I like to goal set. So that was 2017. And then 2018, I was just like, okay, well, I didn't, I did not use, I, I mean, Inkwell Press was great, but I didn't use the features that came with it, which is my is, is, a, is a me thing at that time whatever I was going through so I kind of went through a phase when I got is this it too where I got kind of like planner I don't know what's, what's the word I'm looking for it was just like I was looking for the perfect planner and um so I was just like I so I end up purchasing next is a happy planner this says uh walk by faith and it's by Happy Planner. Oh, hang on. And, uh, um, it's kind of like what I, what I did like about Happy Planner was that you can, you know, tear out the pages and tear them back together. Um, let me see. Yeah, this was it right here. This was like I guess the I don't know, I guess faith based uh planner they had it says blessed the Happy Planner Faith Faith Edition. And I had my like you know um instagram handle there as well this was 2018 to, to through 2019 and i think in this one i had add i had put in like the budget planner as well um ooh, and in that budget planner you know i had the expense tracker like a, a bill pay you know checklist yeah, I kind of like, I kind of tweaked it to how I like wanted it. I even was the budget side of stuff. 
on. Oh goodness, dang! I think I'm. Oh, I I end up taking out a lot of the pages. Like after like I, I think I kept it where it was like three months because I, I don't want to be like too too fat. So I think I'll do three months at a time. When those once once those three months were done, then I would you know switch to the next three months. But then, yeah, I, I just stopped where I left off at. But I think the point that I was trying to make was that I like the happy planner because you get to rip out certain pages and put certain pages back and just make it like your own personalized planner, you know? Um, but I end up, yeah, like I, I did like in the beginning where, you know, for each month that had a like currently section, you know, reading, planning, praying, cooking, etc birthdays priorities for the month and then the holidays but i think throughout the week i did not like i did not like this type of layout you know it was similar to the it was similar to the um vertical layout which was also in the inkwell press however I know that there, you know, those girls out there that, you know, they have this as a blank canvas and then they put washi tape and they put their own stickers and their own stuff. But I just, you know, I, you know, I guess that's not my real, that's not really my thing, you know? So I end up not really liking this too, too much. And I was just like, so I went through this thing in 2000 and like, so I ended up not even finishing it. Cause I think this was like 2018 to 2019. Yeah. Happy planner. But I end up like stopping halfway with this one and I'm just like, ah, you know. So, you know, Erin Condren, you know, is a nice, good priced uh, planner. So is, you know, Inkwell and Happy Planner is a little bit, a little bit more affordable than them. However, I felt like, um, I felt like, dang. So at that time, I was just like, dang, like I'm buying these, you know, higher level type planners but i'm still not being effective with them so i decided okay i'm going back to uh this this type of basic planner i think this was probably like 9.99 10.99 at office depot and this was your this a basic regular uh blue skies planner with the notes it was weekly monthly it was also horizontal and um i actually ended up i ended up did i did a video like about two years ago on this is that planner so i'm not going to go in depth about it but if you want to look at it you can check it out so this was a good planner and i did use it to its full capacity but i will show that oh goodness well i don't know what this, this stuff is let me try to find a blank page but um yeah it was just a nice good horizontal layout which i end up did using a lot more more than um my other planners and then what i liked about it in the back where it had like a million notes pages boop, 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 boop. but i didn't get the full capacity and then i also felt like it was too small like yes it was small it was cute if in my bag but the lines were just too small i guess i'm a picky mother effer so i was like okay adina k needs a bigger one this is small and cute but i need a bigger one so i got i decided to try a day designer but not the flagship day designer i got the um uh, what do i call it it's not flagship it's just called this like the one i got from target but it's day designer brand so i got this day designer this was from july 2019 to june 2020 keep in mind we we, we right now in june 2020 <laughs> goodness so with this planner i liked it as well similar to the inkwell where um oh goodness where it, it tells you how to use a planner right here as well as um goals oh goodness okay let me cover this up I'm gonna cut most of this out anyway. How to use planner page was like a big goal page, which was, which says, start with the big picture, and then you know, so you could write down everything that you want, and then it helps you. The next thing, set your goal. So it kind of helps you break it down, and then they have it by personal goals, family and friends, relationship goals, heart and spirit goals, financial goals, work, study, and career goals. You know. Then after that was design your day. So I was really trying to break it down for you. Here was the di design your day. And I think the only thing I, I added was, okay, wake up at five, sleep by 9.30, which I struggle with. 
Um, and then I added my own little few little stuff like pray, do pray with a purpose, book that I have, cook breakfast study, um, make sure for an evening routine was make sure lunch is packed, nails done, outfit picked out. And then this fourth thing, which I kind of did not do was stay the course, um, which I really need to start doing because now looking back, it's just like, dang, these planners do what they're supposed to do, but it's Dina K that's not doing what she's supposed to do by following through. I need to follow through more on things. So I kind of say, at least like, I, it's like similar to like New Year's resolution, New Year's resolution where, you know, bam, January, December, you pump, bah, 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 this and that. And then next thing you know, by, um, by, let's say, oops, sorry, by, end of January, maybe even February, you, you know, you kind of fall off. I need to stay the course. I will be staying the course. And then after that, oh my gosh, hang on, where did I go? Okay, similar to like my first planner, I would like put, um, put like little movies, like was it movie ticket stubs or, you know, concerts that I go to. I, I like save those things. I'm like really into that. And then, um, Oops, let me get to, so this one I actually used a lot. I Yeah, not surprisingly, but I did use a lot. Um, let me find a blank page. So, okay, so this is the, this is the layout of it. Um, it was also vertical as well. Which I kind of did make it work for a, a good longer than the other planners, so I did like that. I I think I used it from like June until not June, yeah, is it June? I think I used it from July up until how long did I use this for? Up until December, July, August, September, October, November, December. So five months. You know? Um, but anyway, so this is the layout right here. And uh, it was like a daily, a daily um, layout. Like this was for Friday, January 31st, January 27th, you know. So it was like you focusing on each day, which I think I've never really had a planner that did that. It was like, okay, weekly, horizontal, this and that. But this was like a daily focus, which I kind of felt like, dang, maybe I should just do general stuff because the daily stuff, sometimes I really don't have that much going on where, where I would need to be putting stuff in daily. So at the end of, in the beginning of the month, it came with a blank note section. And then here was the month and I had like to do and notes section. And then, and then it started off with the whole daily thing, you know? So midway, so basically what I'm trying to say, let's do, I committed to this planner and then like halfway through, I just kind of gave up on it because it was from July, 2019 to June, 2020. And I would just get back onto like, um, a yearly thing, not like an academic sense or fiscal year. Cause I don't know fiscal years run from July to June. I was just like, so for January, 2020, I decided to start fresh. Um, and so my current planner I have right now is another day designer. This is also from Target, Target. It says day designer 2020 planner. And it, it's, it follows, this is a weekly, this is a weekly monthly. So I decided to try it weekly, monthly, instead of like the whole daily thing. Cause this was a big hunky little uh, planner just to, you know, I need something I can just throw in my purse. And it did follow the same model of the other planner where it had like the goals and stuff. But this came with some stickers, two pages of stickers. Huh. Came with like a little um, flap, you know, folder, put stuff in. So this isn't so funny. These are some of these are some of my stickers from I believe Erin Condren. Wait, is it Erin Condren? No, or is it from my Happy Planner? I don't remember. I think my Happy Planner. If I look, if I look at these right here. So these are stickers from my Happy Planner that I've kind of just taken and then I have implemented with this because we don't waste nothing around here, okay? So yeah. Then I think these stickers are from my um, my other day designer. I'm just like, 
I recycle these stickers. So as my planners continue throughout the years, I will be reusing these up until everything is done. Okay, here it is right there. Ooh, wow, I, I, I wrote a whole bunch of stuff in this. And so it's basically similar to, um, it's basically similar to the other day designer that I showed. I'm gonna skip the whole ones, two, and threes. I am currently staying the course, so that's a good thing. Um, whoops, let's go to, is it the same setup? Let's go to, what month are we in right now? We're in June, so let me go to July. Okay, so this is the setup of this planner right here. And I like it, I like it because it, it is horizontal. I'm a horizontal girl. So here we go, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then there's a today schedule and a to do's. And here's the other, so this is the weekly little model. And then for the next month, it's just simple. Simple, it's functional. This is July, July 2020. We ain't there yet, so that's why I have nothing filled in. And it's just a simple functional plan planner because I'm a simple functional girl. <laughs> and then at the end of this planner, it just has, it has notes like a few blank pages of notes oh, which I haven't wrote, written down yet I gotta look, look it bam oh bam and then of course it has like the upcoming years and their holidays the holidays And one good thing I did like about this, oh, I'm like, I love this little quote right here. But one thing I did love, I do love about this planner is my, um, oh goodness, I haven't used, keep in mind, we are quarantined, well, we were quarantined, so, but I love this, like, little ruler that they have, because you can take it out, so it says, like, May 28th. And you can just bam take take this ruler out real quick what's today today is uh june 3rd so i ain't too far behind only one page behind and then i can just bam click it two little clicks and then bam it's like a it's like a bookmark page holder ruler all that stuff you know so this is my current planner um, but doing this video makes me definitely want to go to, um, Inkwell's website and see what new stuff they have because I'm really feeling that, you know, feeling, feeling the goal section, the beginning section of the planner and, um, it's just for me to follow through, you know, so your girl might maybe back to a little bit more higher up, high end up planners, but we shall see. But anyway, this was just a quick little impromptu, really impromptu, uh, video planner video and um i hope that you enjoy it let me know if there's anything else you want me to see anything else you want me to do anything else you want me to cook um just give me some ideas i am open i am all ears i have nothing but time and opportunity all right thank you um you know like share subscribe bye